have with us Mr. S. R. V. Prasanna. He has been awarded victory over diabetes. So you have been diagnosed with diabetes at the age of three, which is called the juvenile diabetes or type one diabetes. And till date, touch wood, you have no complications caused by diabetes. What is the systematic regime that you follow that is move forward towards a healthy lifestyle? Thank you, Diva. Uh, I've been uh, trying to be systematic right from the age of 20 onwards. Before that, I was too very young. I was looked after by my people. Uh, from the age of 20, uh, I started looking after myself in a better way by my exercise and medicines. Though not fully well with diet, I was uh, on diet about 80% I was on better diet. Correct. The most alarming thing to almost everyone is that diabetes means a it fear. is a yeah, fear in their life that has encroached in their lifestyle. And they, have, they feel that they have been given a biggest burden in their life. Correct. What is uh, that simple little changes that a diabetic patient needs to do to his lifestyle? The most important thing is we have to control our tongue to a great extent because of which only we get into complications if we are not on diet, if we are not on proper way of eating, we are 100% we are into trouble. Otherwise, once we follow systematism, we can lead a better life than any other normal person. I started going for walk right from the age of 15 regularly and my medicines were followed in a perfect way. I was on once a day insulin right from the age of three for 20 years and according to the medical profession once a day insulin causes complications within a span of five years okay. whereas I did not develop any complication for over 20 years. Diabetes varies from person to person. Yes. This is the most important thing which we got to look into it. Diabetes varies from person to person and in my case, my diabetic gene uh, did not affect me much because the other side of my gene was a 90 year gene. And um, what what is uh, what are the restrictions that you maintain in your diet and what is it that you consume more which benefits diabetics? Yeah, I have been following diet by taking rotis uh, and with side dishes of cucumber, tomatoes and uh, sundal, what we call as grams. Correct. And uh, apart from this, my exercise and medicine taking put me properly into the shoes to be normal. Okay, and um, like you said, there is there is a difference between type one and type two. Type one is called the, is the juvenile diabetes yeah. that we know, yeah. and uh, type two is lifestyle induced diabetes. Yeah. What is uh, the major difference uh, between both the diabetes? Type 1 people have to be on insulin right from the day 1 they have been diagnosed with diabetes. Okay. Whereas type 2 people can be on uh, tablets as well as they can be uh, sw uh, switching over to insulin in the later stage. That kind of a thing is always possible with type 2 diabetic people. Whereas with type 1 since the, there is no insulin at all in the body there is no what is called the islets of Langergans. They have got beta cells are totally absent in our pancreas because of which uh, type 1 uh, which produces insulin and because of which we got to take insulin regularly right from right from the time you are diagnosed. Diagnosed. Uh, when you were first diagnosed with diabetes, 
you were three year old <laughs> and that time you were the first case of diabetics in Coimbatore. Mm-hmm. To today, 59 years later, every fourth person or fifth person is getting diagnosed with diabetes. What do you think is, is becoming the most important uh, <laughs> factor of causing diabetes? The factor uh, depends on the environmental changes, the stress that people undergo. There is a lot of change in our food habits when compared to the organic food that we were getting uh, years back. And um, so, uh, is there any uh, certain um, fruits or vegetables that one need to avoid? Mangoes to be avoided completely. We have to take plenty of uh, tomatoes and uh, w- w- what's called watermelon. Watermelon mm, fruit is very, very acceptable for all the diabetic patients yes. they can take. We have to take a lot of vegetables, especially green vegetables, without root vegetables. As When we take a lunch, there should be more of vegetables than that of the prime caloric value food. Like, for example, we take rice, we take chapatis, we sh- that the quantity of it should be less than compared to that of the normal diet. We, the diabetic people, should always see to that. We should not go in for hypoglycemias, which is low sugar in blood and hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, which is very common with type 1 diabetic people, to be looked after very, very carefully. And my wife has been looking after myself in an absolutely class way because she, right from the day one she, we got married, she doesn't sleep properly. She has been having sleepless nights because she has to Take see that uh, I don't go in for low sugar. sugar. So thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your inspiring words. To sum it all, it is it is a definite diet, a systematic regime that one needs to follow, and most importantly, exercise that that one needs to maintain to control your diabetes. But above all, you need someone to love you with care and affection that you are under control when it comes to diabetes. Thank you. May you have a very healthy life ahead.